Hello, I'm Leah from Mia Cortex, and today I will show you how to set up and use the tracking module. First of all, right now there are two options for this module. Uh, so there are actually two versions of this. Uh, the first one is using the motion detector uh, to just detect the uh, moving objects and understand if they are crossing the lines, uh, moving in the zone, and so on. The new version of this module also uses the neural network and can classify the vehicles, people, and animals. So let's take a look on the settings. So we enable the camera with this analytics, then go to motion detector and enable the YA Cortex one, and then go to analytics. So here we need to enable the module and go to settings. Here we select uh, what objects uh, needs to be detected. So only motion. In this situation, when we enable it, uh, we can only set the uh, detection options like alarm in the zone, line intersection, or also lengthy presence in this zone. About the requirements for this module. So for this module, uh, it's better to use the resolution from VGA to 2 megapixel with 25 frames per second. Uh, for some situations, it's better to use a higher uh, frame rate, but 25 is still okay. Uh, if your server doesn't have uh, a GPU, required for this module, it will uh, be working only with the motion detector without classificator. If you have a GPU, you will have this option. So if we enable it, we can set which objects do we want to detect. People, vehicles and animals. Then, uh, when you use the alarm in the zone option, you can select the zone that you want to detect. And also, if you need, you can select what uh, object sites uh, do you want to detect. For example, not to detect too small or too big objects. The same option for the line intersection. So you can draw a line and uh, every object that is crossing it will be triggered. So after we created the uh, selection of the required options, we need to save it and exit. Then let's go to the client. Select the module with tracking. And here the uh, triggered objects will be uh, colored with the boundaries. So for example, right here we have detected a person. Then also we can go to event journal, select events only from this analytics. Apply the filter. And get the events from this module. So, for example, this is a line intersection option, and if we open it, we see the line and also uh, the object that triggered this alarm. We can also go to archive 
and watch a video of this crossing. So for example, here we saw that a person crossed the line. Another option, uh, alarm in the zone. In this situation, uh, the module was configured to detect only a person in the zone. And if we open it, we see a person that triggered this alarm and watch the video. Of course, you can configure the notifications or other automatic actions for these uh, events. For example, sending a message or saving a frame from the camera and so on. So you can configure reactions on these events. So this is how the tracking module works. Thanks for watching the video. Goodbye.